So we're looking at two-way tables still, but this time we're going to talk about conditional probability a bit. Now you might be looking at the Venn diagram and saying, what's that doing there? We're supposed to be talking about two-way tables. But we can convert that Venn diagram to a two-way table. So A is going to be people who have an animal in their house, a pet, and B is going to be people who have a brother. And so now we're going to represent that same information in this two-way table here. I'll just finish it off with a line now. Okay, so let's look at these numbers. Where do they belong? People who have an animal in their house and a brother. An animal and a brother. Five. Okay, what else have we got? Let's see. Uh, let's do this one. This is an interesting one. No animals in their house and no brothers either. No animals, no brothers. They don't fit anywhere in the circle. It's this number right here, the number two. All right, uh, which one could we do next? An animal, but no brother. These are all the people that have an animal in their house. No brother. No brother. Right there, 10. Now that makes sense. The total number of people who have an animal in their house is 15. All right, what about this next one here? A brother in their house, but no animal in their house. A brother in their house, but no animal. It must be this number here, 7. Now, that makes sense because the total number of people with brothers is 7 plus 5, 12. Now, what's this number? Uh, the total number of people who do not have a brother, 10 plus 2, which is 12. Altogether, we have 24 there. And this number here is the total number of people who do not have an animal in their house, 7 plus 2. Nine. So you can see that two-way tables and Venn diagrams, they're related. They're just two different ways of showing the same information. And that, of course, means that we can calculate probabilities from our two-way table. Let's find the probability that someone has an animal in their house. Total number of people with animals in their house is 15. 15 out of 24. And, of course, we can simplify that by dividing both top and bottom by 3. We'll get 5 over 8. Probability that someone has a brother in their house. The total number of people with a brother in their house is 12. 12 out of 24, which is, of course, equal to 1 half. And this one, probability of A and B, an animal and a brother. These people have an animal and a brother. 5 out of the total of 24. And finally, the probability that someone has an animal in their house and no brother. All right, let's see, where is that? An animal with no brother, that's 10. 10 out of 24, which is 5 out of 12. So you can see we can do everything we used to do with a Venn diagram, we can do it with this two-way table. Now, whether you're talking about Venn diagrams or two-way tables, you can also do something called conditional probability. So a little bit of new notation here. This um, vertical line here, it means the word given. So it says the probability that someone has an animal given you know that they have a brother. So I want you to imagine that you're in this classroom, you haven't met any of these people yet, but you know that this table exists. And someone says to you, hey, I have a brother. So you know a piece of information about them, and now you can figure out what the probability is that given you know that they have a brother, do they have an animal in their house? Now what this effectively does is change the size of the sample space. Because now, because you know something about the person, because you know they have a brother, it's given that they have a brother, you're not considering the total class anymore. You're only considering the people who have a brother. So that becomes your new sample space. So don't forget that this is our, um, our formula, number of the event, number of the sample space, but our sample space has changed. It's not 24, it's brothers. It's the people who have a brother, 12, 12. Okay, and finally, we're looking for the number of people in that sample space, in that 12 people that have a brother, that have an animal in their house, five. The probability that someone has an animal in their house, given that they tell you that they have a brother, is five out of 12. So let's do the reverse now. So this says the probability that someone has a brother given that there is an animal in their house. So you've met a person and they've told you, hey, I've got an animal in my house. So again, this is going to change the size of your sample space. We know that they have an animal in their house. So that means that there's only 15 people in the class that they could be. So that's our new sample space. Now, we want to know the probability that they have a brother. 
Now, of the 15 people that have an animal in their house, five of them have a brother. So the probability that someone has a brother, given they tell you, hey, I've got an animal, is five in 15 or one in three. So I'll do one more here to really drive the point home. The probability that someone has an animal in their home, given they don't have a brother. So you meet a person in the classroom and they say, hey, I don't have a brother. So that means that they're one of 12 people in that room. Okay, and they don't have a brother, and people who don't have brothers, they look like they're very likely to have an animal in their house, right? 10 out of 12, which is, of course, 5 out of 6. All right, that is two-way tables. We've connected the two-way table to the Venn diagram, and then we've got to play with something called conditional probability, given.